Hi everyone. I thought I'd better pop on and show you my freshly made Nova coat from Paper Cut Patterns. Now this has been a bit of a slower process. Normally I'm zooming through patterns and showing you lots of different makes. This one I took my time with. This is actually made from a gorgeous wool from the online store. It's the Coco Wool fabric, beautiful weight. It's in a rose quartz color. There also is an olivey green color and the pattern is amazing. Now it's one that I've seen uh, over on the internet. I've seen it on Instagram for many years now and I've always tossed up whether to make it, whether it was for me or not. Now it had been renamed. It was the Sapporo coat before the Nova coat. And of course I made this in a hashtag that was uh, created by Erin at Loudly Positive. We decided to do a PDF for paper cut support for buying a pdf pattern to support katie in her breast cancer journey of course over at paper cut patterns you probably already know that by now uh, i know that erin made quite a lot of good makes over on uh, instagram some beautiful makes there and i've taken my time a bit more so a bit slow with this one but it's the kind of thing that you can't hurry. Making a fully lined jacket is not for the faint heart. And I would say it's more tailored towards intermediate, maybe to even advanced sewers. But if you slow down enough, take in the process, do it step by step without rushing through, I think uh, a beginner to intermediate could definitely take on the challenge. And of course, a lined coat is something that I think everyone needs to take on the challenge to try at least once in their life because there is nothing like having your very own tailored lined beautiful woolen coat for wearing the winter months and of course this fabric is just beautiful up close it has a kind of a boucle effect and you know what I'm really embracing pink I think pink is just stunning and lately the more I wear it the more I really love it behind me you'll see this beautiful magnolia tree this is a treasure of mine in the garden I absolutely love the lantern like flowers that come out very very early in spring and behind me even further you would have noticed in the pics the beautiful flowering plum has put a glorious display on for the last week or so and then we got hammered with a lot of wind and rain and a lot of them have fallen off so it really is a very kind of a, a tree that when the when it flowers you want to make sure you get plenty of pics because it doesn't last long before the rain and the wind blow them off but they scatter all over the lawn like beautiful little petals everywhere so so pretty um so i'm going to show you some pics of my nova coat i'm going to talk about a bit about what i did with mine and what i made Don't you just love it? I love the fact there are no fastenings. It's got a really unique, uh, very kind of organic style, the way the angular pockets, I think everything is very um, cohesive. It really follows through. Beautiful lantern-like sleeves, a feature I really love. It has, this jacket to me has a kind of a Japanese feel to it. I know a lot of those Japanese sewing books uh, has some really, really lovely, you know, like almost organic, very, um, very modern kind of feel to them. And this is what reminds me of this, this jacket. Love the fact that, as I say, it's got no fastenings. You really don't need them. It's got a beautiful stand-up style collar. Um, but the way it is designed is just beautiful. This is the shorter sleeve, believe it or not. So I made the size four. I did a lot of research into sizing on this. A lot of people have said it came out very, very oversized and very big. Because I have so many big style coats, I wanted something a little bit more cropped and a little bit more, uh, not fitted, but shorter style. So I went for the shorter version. Size four, of course, you can see here, it is really large on me. Um, I'm still holding this piece of, the little piece of Daphne here. How beautiful is that? If you could have smell a vision, it is just the most divine scent. One of my favorite flowers, winter flowering flowers to have in the garden. So I'm gonna take that inside. I'm an Australian size 14. This size four, I would say would easily fit up to an 18. It is so roomy around the shoulders. That is the beauty of the pattern. You don't want to size down too much that you lose that kind of look to it, that modern kind of boxy look. It's like a bat wing style almost. So size four to me was, was just right. Uh, I know the next two size ranges have got the same size. So the five, six, seven, and eight are cut out from the same pattern but definitely great, uh, great sizing on this, but really think about um, 
I looked at the finished garment measurements and I still was tossing up, but I think a four would be just on par with a 14 to 16, no worries at all. Plenty of room in the bust. And I lined mine, fully lined it with just a satin lining and a blush color. And I also put on a beautiful little handmade label that says, I love this one, Sparks Joy. And I think I got them from uh, Lindsay's shop at Soda Grow. She has some beautiful little labels there. Now this top I have underneath here was actually a top from um, Marilla Walker Patterns. It's, I can't remember the name, but I'll put it up on screen. I think it came in a set. And I made this from some cotton sateen from Nerida Hanson that I bought yeah, about three years ago now. So it's a lovely little lightweight top. The cotton sateens are really lovely soft fabric. So not like your standard sateens, which are quite, can be quite sort of stiff. But I really love this. It's really starting to rain here. I'm going to head under the shelter. We've moved under shelter here. Here. This is Juju. She's come to say hi when she's outside. She always likes to get on the screen, don't you? Yes, you do. So basically, really happy, excuse me, happy with the jacket. Definitely would make it again. Would I make the long one? Probably for winter, a longer version would be great because it would really keep you warm. This one just comes to sort of under my butt, just that length. I wouldn't call it cropped or short, but I also wouldn't call it extra long. I think it's just a really lovely... Uh, length and I also love the angular pockets the way they sort of jut down at the front it's a really unique style but I really love most of all love the pockets when I was actually cutting it out pattern pieces look so unique and so different to what I'm used to with cutting out a jacket I was a little bit concerned I'd bitten off more than I could chew but I decided not just to slow down and take my time with it I'm really really happy that I did uh, as I say I love wearing this um, rose quartz color pink definitely a new color for me that I'm trying to embrace more often um, but definitely give the Nova coat a try and of course the trickiest bit I would say would be the lining the way to connect the lining is a bit more unusual a bit more different and a little bit tricky so make sure you really have your wits about you when you're concentrating when you're doing the flipping inside out um, but the pattern instructions were fantastic as always from paper cut patterns uh, very unique patterns but very very modern and wearable and I would definitely wear this to death with my jeans and different tops. Now I am lacking many different tops at the moment. I'm finding that I really want more knit tops to wear underneath things like this. I've got a lot of blouses and shirts and sometimes I want to wear something a bit more cozy and comfortable but not a sweater. So that's my next task is to make some more things I can do some layering with. So I would definitely say that this is a winner for me, this pattern. Love the way it's come up. So definitely think about making the paper cut patterns Nova as well as any of her other patterns. I've also bought three other patterns of hers that I'm very excited to make up. I've bought the Aura dress, had that for a while and haven't made that up yet. As well as that, I've bought a couple of her other top patterns that I think are just gorgeous and unique. So I have plenty of things I want to sew. Um, talking about what's happening over on my uh, website. I have to say a huge thank you because I put out an email uh, Wednesday night in regards to advent calendars. I was launching my advent calendars that would be sent out in the first week of November and they just about sold out overnight. It was a huge response. Um, and so we had very limited numbers. Uh, all I did was, was talk about it in the newsletter and a lot of you who subscribed to the newsletter got first dibs on those. So it's really important if you wanna be involved in anything happening in the Daly Society to do with sales, new boxes, um, things that are happening uh, as far as new stock, to be subscribed to the newsletter. We'll you'll get the first chance to get things like these limited edition advent calendars. So I have actually had orders from worldwide. I've sent, uh, I'm sending a lot to the States and to the UK, to New Zealand. So it was just an amazing response. So I have to say a very, very big thank you for your wonderful support. I love doing things for Christmas. This is my forte. I absolutely love it. I was one of those mums that when the kids were growing up, I would get right into the whole um, spirit of Christmas thing and um, yeah, the gifts, everything had to match and the whole themed Christmas lunch is just what I love to do most. So putting these boxes together for you guys will not be a chore. Uh, it will be something I just absolutely love doing. Uh, I love putting the love into those boxes and choosing things that I think you're going to love because if I love them, I'm sure you will too. Um, so a big thanks to mum for helping me do all that. So very, very exciting things happening. And a lot of you that I know have missed out on those boxes will uh, have the chance there will be something else exciting happening uh, that 
it'll be a bit more of a gifty style box. It won't be an advent calendar, but it'll be a little bit, a bit of a curated box. There'll be two different theme boxes I think you're going to love as well. So you will get the chance to purchase those coming up as soon as I figure out what's happening with them because I think everyone loves to have a bit of mystery there. So uh, I decided to have uh, no box for December. So the November box will be late November. It'll be a Christmassy themed box. So I'll talk about that a bit later on. And that will be delivered in around the first week of December as well. So that will be my Christmassy kind of nod to Christmas themed bespoke box. And then the boxes will start up again in January. So that way it gives me time to have a bit of a wind down for Christmas and also to get some beautiful new fabrics in the store. So that if you want to purchase that, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I think that way, yeah, otherwise it just is too much all happening in one month. And of course, with postal systems, Christmas time can be very, very hectic. And I would hate for any boxes to be getting held up and not get to you on time. So heaps happening there so I hope you're really excited about receiving those because I'm going to really love uh, undoing those day-to-day uh, -day advent calendars with you having a cuppa and doing a bit of a vlogmas style thing and there'll be some giveaways as well I'll be very happy happily donating some vouchers to uh, people that are watching throughout that first 12 days of Christmas on the channel so I love giving back to you guys and I love thanking you all for the support you've given me over these last couple of years now next week I've got new patterns coming for September I've got some really exciting patterns I think you're going to love. There's one particular pattern company that have launched a whole series of patterns that I just am so excited about and so inspired to go and sew up just about one of everything. So as soon as that sort of uh, calendar flips over to spring, I am really uh, dedicated to making some beautiful, bright spring things. And I hope you're going to enjoy seeing what I've got to offer there as well. And I've also got a few makes that I've made in the past couple of weeks that I haven't shown you yet. So excited to do that too. So thank you for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing this coat. Now, a lot of you have been waiting to see this Nova coat and see how it turned out. Definitely a gorgeous pattern. And the fabric, this woolen blend fabric is on sale at my online store store too so if you've been eyeing off any of my coating fabrics now is a good time to purchase them because they are all marked down and of course it's a great time to make coats and layering pieces because the, the seasons the weather can be very up and down at the moment so um very lovely it's not too heavy to wear as well which of course a lot of wool and coating can be very bulky and heavy and I don't like that but it's a lovely warm cozy weight to wear so very excited to be wearing this when I go out next so thanks for watching today I'll let you all go I hope you all managed to get some sewing in this week and I will see you very soon take care and bye for now